All right, so I'm, I'm actually going to go through it in, in one motion, but you can always refer back to this video if, uh, if you're wondering what to do. But, uh, you know, very first thing is you're going to go into Google Classroom, and, um, and you're going to go to what says Classwork Practice Shading Using Illustrator. So technically we're not going to be doing coloring, but we're going to be um, shading those um, uh, different values. So you want to click on the image and then download it. So again, this is like um, an edited photo. So you know, this is a lot easier to see the values than, um, than the original photo that, um, that we looked at. And yeah, I showed you guys the original photo. I had on my Kingston. So if you were to compare this photo with the, um, or this picture with the other one, like it's a lot easier to see those values. So, so that's one thing we're gonna be doing in Photoshop before um, we do um, edit your photos. So I'm just going to go to my downloads folder. I think this is the download, so I'm just going to click and drag this into Illustrator here. Alright, so uh, this is going to be the um, practice that we're going to work on. So uh, you want to set it up exactly how we uh, did before. So this is again your um, layer ones, your, um, your uh, picture layer. And then you want to lock that layer. All right, click on the lock button. Then you're going to well, create a new layer on the very top. And then this layer, I would just title it your values. Because um, yeah, we're going to be putting all of the values um, in that one layer. So um, so basically, we're going to do all your values in this um, one layer. Um, you can create multiple layers. Uh, but this program actually, um, it actually works a little bit smoother if um, uh, you don't have like all those uh, multiple layers. But uh, you know, the way I've taught it before, though, I've always done multiple layers, but um, I feel like this method's a little bit easier. So, uh, you know, just using the um, pen tool that we've been using before, um, you know, basically what we're going to be doing you know, is um, all these different values. So you see, like, these blacks, uh, different shades of grays and whites. Okay, um, so we're going to be um, basically creating um, vectors or shapes for all of those, um, for all those values. All right, and um, and you always want to start off with just doing your stroke first. So I'm just going to um, on my fill. I'm going to click on none, and then my, I'm going to make my um, stroke. Uh, we're going to make the, the stroke black first. All right. Um, now, e the easiest way to pick out these colors from your um, your picture is um, like originally I had you guys um, like if you had me before last year, um, I had you guys like you know try to find the values on your own. I mean, I think it's a nice skill to have, especially if you're um, doing like um, drawing or anything. But um, we're gonna like kind of skip that step. There is an easier way to do it on the computer. If um, you use this tool here, it's called the eyedropper. So you click on the eyedropper, and then you click on the um, any of these colors. So basically, what's happening is it's picking up any of those colors um, from the um, the picture. Okay, so um, you know, typically before I had you guys, uh, you know, go to your swatches. Oops, swatches. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, basically I had you find the colors before when we did your swatches. I think it's, I'm trying to remember how to pull these swatches again. But yeah, well, well I'm just going to say though, we're going to skip that process. So, um, you know, you want to use the eyedrop tool, and then you're going to eyedrop these colors. So I, I'm eyedropping this black color. And then what I'm using with the pen tool. Okay, um, now you do want to switch it back to the, um, the stroke. So a quick way you can switch it is uh, if you hold shift and X, that'll switch it real quickly. So basically I'm just going to be tracing this uh, black shape here. Alright, so yeah, I'm just tracing this uh, black shape here and going all the way around. And make sure to connect all the way around and connect the edges. So you, know, you have your black shape here. And then if you hit Shift X, it's gonna fill in that area uh, black, All right? So yeah, that that's done for that area. And then like the next area, what you're gonna do is um, with the pen tool. Again, um, I, I'm gonna go back to the eyedropper. I'm gonna click on this gray here, and you know, same thing like I did before with the black. I'm just gonna trace those um, areas again, or I see gray. Okay, some of it might get a little fuzzy, so just try to like kind of guess where the lines are. And again, um, you see how it's doing that fill. Uh, real important, you know, just keep on the stroke first, but you can flip it around again um, to do the fill. So 
Sometimes you have to kind of guess like what it is. But you know, just take your time, just trace around it. Okay, if it's not perfect, it's okay. There's always um, ways you can fix it, which I'm going to show you later. So just trace all the way around. Yeah, if it's, if it's not perfect, it's okay. We can always fix those later. All right, so yeah, it's going all the way around right now. And then um, you know you can hit Shift X to um, fill the stroke. But um, yeah, that's kind of like the basic idea, though. You know, if I hide this, um, you know, we're kind of working with the background already. Now um, you see, like right here on the top, um, the top left. You see, I got uh, it got a little bit messed up right here. Does anyone see that little white spot? So if you if you see like white spots like that, what you can do is if you click on the uh, direct selection tool and you click on the shape, then you click on the point. You can actually click and drag these points to you know fix those areas, and then you can use those to kind of like fix the curves as well. So you, you can you can change a curve, and then you can change where you want to move the point. So those are like different ways you can like manipulate the um, the shapes to you know work at the Work in the, the way that you want it to work. Uh, those are like, you know, just like little tweaks though that you would need to do. Uh, I mean, to fix this curve a little bit more. So this curve I gotta make out more. Alright. So, yeah, pretty much that's how you're gonna trace all your shapes. And then when you move on, uh, but basically the way these, um, these vectors work is, uh, you know, the, the more um, shapes you put on top, uh, the, um, you know, the, the, the um, you know, the higher it's going to get. So, um, you know, you always want to try to work with, um, you know, what's in the far back of the picture. So, like, right now, work on the background, and then slowly work up toward what's in the uh, foreground. So, like, you know, the next shape I would make here, I would um, do this gray part here, but um, uh, we're just going to skip a little bit ahead just to show you how the overlapping works. So like you know the next shape I will work on is going to be this uh, uh, the cylinder here because you know that's the one that's the next furthest away. So you know I'd use the eyedropper again. I'm just going to do the white first. Eyedropper. Let's go all the way around. And now when you overlap it though, it's going to um, go on top of the shape. So it's gonna to to go on top of that gray that we drew. Let me uh, flip it around. So you're just gonna trace all around just for like that gray shape. But yeah, you're just gonna keep repeating this process. And let me just show you how the um, the finished drawing should look. I have it on the other com computer. Just give me one second. And then you would you do shift X to flip it. You probably don't want to flip it right now because um, you know you want to add those different values. So, so yeah, you know, like the next shape I would do is I would do this uh, lighter gray here. You can do it in any order. Uh, I just I just like doing it. The all right, so I fill this out. Gonna go all the way around. Oh, you know what? Sometimes it's nice to just do it on the edges. Cause you can always adjust those. So that's just like you know the light gray area. And then uh, you know am I dropping? Uh, oops, not dropping that. I drop this. Right, I don't want to drop that one yet. And then uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a new line. So. Yeah, you know, the next line I would make is uh, this one here. This would be like from my darker gray. So the main challenge of this assignment is, is you just really want to look carefully at your values. And then you have your dark gray here. And then this would be filled too. So then if I zoom out, if I hide the picture, you can kind of see like the cylinder creating the, the shape right now. All right. But like uh, when you do finish the drawing, it should look something like this. Okay, it's on here. All 
Right, just give me one second. So it should look something similar to this one once you're done with all of it. Yeah, this is almost kind of getting to where that is. Did everybody see that? All right. All right, you guys, any questions about this? Questions? Uh, I want you to just get started with it today. You, you might have like individual questions, um, you know, later. Um, you always, always um, ask me if you're uh, confused.